You know, when Senator Camila Harris, a radical left-wing California Democrat, announced her candidacy for president, I said I thought that she was, well, an opportunistic politician who jumped whichever way the wind was blowing at the time. Now, during the past month, Harris has sought to capitalize on her dusky complexion and has been maneuvering herself into the position of being recognized as black. I, a descendant of ganja, smoke and Jamaican slaves. That's been her latest riff. And why not? What the hell? If Elizabeth Warren can pawn herself off as Native American, then who's to say she doesn't have enough Negro blood to qualify as a descendant of oppressed darkies? Camilla whose daddy is probably mulatto, and her mama, who is of East Indian extraction, well, she's seeking to sell herself as 99, 44, 100% pure sister. It's an Obama thing. She asserted such until her daddy busted her by pointing out that her ancestors were not just Jamaican, but they were Jamaican plantation and slave owners. That, according to his book, The Reflection of a Jamaican Father. It, quote, it goes, quote, My roots go back within my lifetime to my parental grandmother, Miss Chrissy Ne Christina Brown, a descendant of Hamilton Brown, who is on record as a plantation and slave owner and founder of Brownstown. So, what about it? My black brothers and sisters, what about it? Are you woke enough to understand that Senator Camila Harris, California Democrat, will herd y'all back onto the plantation if that's what it takes to elect her president? Come on now, think about it. And especially now that Harris is demanding reparations be paid to black folks as an apology for U.S. slavery. Y'all think about that too.